Gavin. Backstage. Victorious hey, Isaac Luna. Isaac Luna. I'm outside of uh, El Paso, Texas, guys. I'm here in Albuquerque. Um, you know, people keep asking me, what do I think about the decision and how do I feel about it? You know what? I beat Rodney Vaca in his hometown. Um, he's a good fighter, but hell I'm just a hell of a fighter. Hell of a fighter. The best that I face in the pro oh, yes, ring, for sure. Thank um, you, yeah, thank you, Ronnie. And thank you, Ronnie's team. God bless you, man. Keep on going. Um, they gave us every single round. I was more scared than getting in the ring with Ronnie. I was more scared of the, of the judges. You know, when they said I won every round uh, and every judge gave me the fight, couldn't be more happy. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my team. And, and I'm, just, I'm just happy. We're ready for that after party, though. Come on through the after party. <laughs> now that the win's taken care of, let's go get the W for the night. <laughs> awesome. Real women. <laughs> That's what the W's for. Tell us about the mentality you have to bring when you're coming into another guy's hometown. You know what? It's... Um, Honestly, it's not about the night of the fight. It's about the training. Uh, we train for two months. We train hard. We train a lot of things. We canceled the fight. We canceled the fight. Uh, getting ready for Ronnie. Um, so, coming into Ronnie's hometown, like I said, it's something we've been prepared for for, for a whole two months. We knew uh, coming over here that we were gonna have to win unanimously, and, I, and, and we did. I'm so glad that we did. But you know, like I said, coming to into his hometown. That's something we prepared for, just like you know his 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 his, uh, his length and his lefts. Uh, so we just prepared. We're happy that the preparation was enough. What was the keys in the fight to getting that victory? The key was to not miss with the right, to get in there with the right, because Ronnie's a big guy. This is all you got to do to make a short guy miss. That's all you got to do. He's a big guy. So we had to uh, make some preparations to make sure that his pullback ended still with the right, and it did. So. Uh, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. How's 3-0 no feel? It feels great. It feels great. And you know what feels even better is that we beat a good fighter to get to 3-0. No. So again, Ronnie, great fighter. Uh, I'm glad to have uh, this victory. And like I said, 3-0 and feels good, and it feels even better that it was against a good fighter. We heard it's going to be a short turnaround. What do you mean short turnaround? You're going to quickly be back in action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Hopefully... By next week? <laughs> no, just... Uh, next month. Next month. We'll be in there next month again. Awesome, awesome. That will be locally in El Paso. El Paso, Texas. It's going to be at the Don Haskins Center uh, under the Mickey Roman Park. We're fighting at 147 again. So uh, we're going to stay ready. We're going to stay ready. Awesome, sir. Again, congratulations. Thank really you. Enjoy, Thank you. What was your name, sir? Mike and Frank. Hey, Mike here. Uh, Isaac Luna here. This is my strength and conditioning coach, uh, Chris Serrano, the big chili. This is Mark, uh, Ma Marcos Meraz. He's uh, one of the next fighters on our team. This is Cesar Carvajal, my great friend, my great trainer. And hey, guys, this is Team Blue, Heavy Artillery. Woo! Woo! We'll be back with more post-fight interviews shortly. I'm talking...